2022 New South Wales Rally Championship started in the nation's capital with the Nedia National Capital Rally on the weekend of the 2nd and 3rd of April, combined with the Australian Championship Round. Nathan Quinn and Ray Winwood smith would take the first stage win in their Hyundai i20, setting the benchmark. But they'd strike trouble in the second stage and drop to the bottom of the leaderboard. The next stage win would go to Taylor Gill and Kim Bessel in the Subaru WRX STI, the young driver from the New South Wales Central Coast showing great speed at the opening round. The third stage would complete heat one and make it three different winners over the three stages. Richie Dalton and Dale Mosca would take the win in the Toyota Yaris AP4, handing him the rally lead and the heat win. Slide right on long brow, then five left plus in. Gill would be second in the heat, just 10 seconds off Dalton. And Tony Sullins and Kaylee Newell would round out the top three for the heat, driving a Subaru WRX after competing the previous season in a Citroen. Heat 2 repeated two of the Heat 1 tests, and Quinn was back, taking the win in SS4, Blue Range 2. But it was Gill who impressed, taking the win in the next stage and moving into the lead of the event, and he would maintain his lead to win the Heat. Dalton would take the win in the following stage, but issues in SS5 saw him drop down to 12th overall, and a good result was now out of his reach. Sullins, in the meantime, was starting to find a rhythm and would move up into second for the overall event and second in the heat. Jamie and Brad Luff in the Subaru WRX had been steadily improving their pace and would be third for heat two. Five stages on Sunday would make up heat three and it came down to a hotly contested battle between Richie Dalton in the Yaris AP4 Nathan Quinn in the Hyundai i20. Dalton would ultimately come away with the heat win, taking three stages. 30, finish. Quinn would put his poor finishes from Saturday stages behind him to take two stage wins and finish the heat in second position. Tony Sullins would take third in the heat, maintaining a consistent pace in his older WRX against the much newer AP4 cars of Quinn and Dalton. And in the battle for the outright podium, Taylor Gill would win the first round of the New South Wales Championship with a 23 second lead over his rivals. Sullins would be next and had a trouble free run. His consistency paid off with second outright for the rally. Tim Wilkins and Jim Gleeson in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo would round out the final step on the podium with third outright for the event. The second round of the New South Wales Rally Championship would head to the Central West, just two hours drive from Sydney for the Mid-State Freight Oberon Sages Rally. A single day event based on a road book with no pace notes allowed, over two heats. Heat one in the morning, made up of five special stages, and then repeated for heat two in the afternoon. Tim Wilkins and Jim Gleeson took the lead in the first stage, but an electrical gremlin would see the pair sideline near the end of the third stage, ending their hopes of a good result and championship points. The car's dead. Dead. Salt. Get over, get over, get over, get over, get over, get over, get over. Riley Walters and Andrew Crowley were the next quickest and went on to win stage two and then take the win in each of the following four stages to take maximum points for the heat. Their outright speed on the stages was impressive and the pair finished the heat with a 38 second lead in the event. Back in the field at car 20, Josh and Matt Redhead in the Lancer Evo GSR were making a name for themselves, moving up into second outright after the completion of the third stage. 
They were then second outright in the next two stages to take second in the heat. Another crew making big moves was Connor Ferguson and Domino McCarthy in a Subaru WRX. They were seated down at car 27, but they'd moved up into third outright at the finish of the heat. Another impressive drive came from Sean McAloon and Murin Hayes in the Mark II Ford Escort. They were consistently in the top order and finished the heat in fourth outright in a two-wheel drive. Heat two of the Mid-State Freight Oberon Stages rally would be a rerun over the morning's five stages. There was still 65 kilometres of competition to come and there were plenty of battles up and down the field for outright and class honours. In the service park, crews were busily preparing for an afternoon of intense competition. Changes were being made, repairs carried out, adjusting components to ensure every bit of performance could be found. A new name would make it to the top of the first of the afternoon stages, with Jamie Neal and Tommy Flegel taking the win in Special Stage 6. They'd continue to put in top five stage times throughout the afternoon to finish the heat third. The Redhead Brothers were still impressing with their stage times. They were up into second outright at the end of the event, but were excluded after running out of late time, fixing an issue with the car between stages. Peter Dimmick and Lee Pearce in the Toyota Yaris AP4 had been steadily improving throughout Heat 1 and were second quickest in four of the five stages in Heat 2. This would seal their outright result in the heat, finishing second. Walters impressed again in Heat 2, the Subaru driver winning four of the five stages to win the heat convincingly by 44 seconds. Good, 300 rookers left. 200 rookers left. Up the drive here. from Walters was somewhat yeah, unexpected. Yeah, Seated car 19, he won eight of the ten stages in a roadbook event. It was expected that he'd do well, but not this well. Could this be a sign of who will win the championship? In the outright rally results, Walters and Crowley were obviously unbeatable in the WRX, taking the rally win by a massive 2 minute and 18 second margin. Dimmick and Pierce would take the second step on the podium after continuing their move up the leaderboard. And third outright would go to Neil and Flegel in the WRX. It's time for round four of the New South Wales Rally Championship, where an intense battle for the series is developing and where points at this round could have a major impact on the championship. We're at the Laser Rally of the Bay. Based in the New South Wales South Coast Township of Batemans Bay, the rally is one of the most popular events on the New South Wales calendar. There's perfect weather predicted and the forests are looking the best they have in years. It's about to get interesting. Heat one of the rally was five stages and Richie Dalton and Matt Kieran's in the Toyota Yaris AP4 would strike first, taking the first stage win. They'd go on to win stage three and a battle was developing for the heat win, with Dalton finishing second in the heat and adding to his championship points haul. However, the Heat winner, who is no stranger to the rally world, is at his first New South Wales Championship event. Clayton Hoy and John Allen would win stages four and five to take the event lead and win the heat by just four seconds over Dalton.
Tony Sullins and Kaylee Newell are also championship contenders in the Subaru WRX, and they were showing form, winning stage two and taking out third in the heat. This is the second championship event for Nathan Quinn and Ray Winwood Smith, except they had elected to run on the road book. They were fourth in the heat. Tim Wilkins and Jim Gleeson were back looking for points. A consistent drive saw them take fifth in heat one. Riley Walters and Andrew Crowley and another Subaru are also chasing the championship and need good points at the bay. This is a pace noted event and they were struggling slightly to keep up with the pace at the front. They finished the heat in sixth. And as usual, Sean McAloon and Murin Hayes impressed in the two-wheel drive escort. Fastest two-wheel drive and mixing it with the four-wheel drives. Heat 2 would be a repeat of the four morning stages. And the morning's battle would continue into the afternoon, with Richie Dalton taking two stage wins and winning the heat. Four left plus in, 130. In on it, 130, four left plus. One. Hoy and Allen in the Lancer would win the other two stages, giving them second in the heat. This would leave Hoy and Dalton with a heat win each. Sullins and Newell kept pushing the two leading cars to be third in the heat, adding a good haul of points to their championship. In the outright standings, it was a result no one saw coming. Hoy recorded a time of 1 hour, 13 minutes and 22 seconds. Dalton, his stage times were close to Hoy, but the overall time was exactly the same. One hour, 13 minutes and 22 seconds. It was a dead heat for first place. Stadium fast, good man. Four left plus. Four left. Sullins was third outright. He was one minute 22 seconds behind the leaders. They were just too quick for him to catch. But he took away valuable points that could just decide the championship with one round remaining. It's the final round of the New South Wales Rally Championship and we're in Coffs Harbour for the super cheap auto, Coffs Coast Rally. The event shares a round of the Asia Pacific Championship and the Australian Rally Championship. And all of our championship contenders are here. Dalton, Quinn, Sullins, Walters. All ready to take on the Coffs Coast Forest Roads. Nathan Quinn led the pack at the final round, winning every stage in the first heat and taking the heat win convincingly with a 1 minute and 44 second lead. Richie Dalton and Dale Moskett would be next in their Toyota Yaris AP4. They pushed hard to catch Quinn but had to be satisfied with second in the heat. Riley Walters and Andrew Crowley in the Subaru needed a strong result here to secure the championship and we're off to a good start, coming third in the heat. But if Sullins had a strong result, a win in the championship would be difficult for the young Subaru driver. Sullins was driving fast. He was up to second outright after the first three stages, but in the following stage had issues dropping him down the leaderboard to eighth and potentially costing him the championship. Over in the East Coast Classic Series, Mal Keogh and Pip Bennett would take out Heat 1 for the four-wheel drive category. Tom Dermody and Owen Moynihan in the Mark II Escort would take maximum points for the two-wheel drive category. Heat 2 looked like it was going to be another Nathan Quinn whitewash with the Coffs Harbour based driver taking four of the five stage wins. His performance would win him the heat and also the rally. But it was the battle for the championship between Walters and Sullins that would steal the show. Walters put the pedal to the metal, taking second in the heat and second outright in the event. 
But was it enough to win the series? Dalton was still pushing. He won the only stage away from Quinn to finish the heat third. For Sullins, it was all about the maths and dropped rounds. After calculating the points tally, Sullins and Newell's fifth in the heat was enough to secure the championship for the second year running. Wow, um, all credit to Riley though. It was great for us to win, but geez, he pushed us all the way. His stage times are phenomenal. The young bloke's going like going places. He's we were setting outright fastest times against R5 cars, and it's his first decent go at the New South Wales Championships. Yeah, full credit to him. Yeah. I've, I've been working really hard, I haven't had a lot of time to do car prep and I've sort of swapped between things and just turned up at events and basically switched on and tried to race and, and yeah I'm, I'm quite proud, I'm probably driving the fastest I've ever driven now. Yesterday we set some really phenomenal times that, and Kaylee's keeping up, like she's a co-driver that's come from not very much experience to being you know outright fastest in, the, in Australia which is a good thing you know, so yeah. For Newell, a second championship win is also a big achievement. Yeah, I know, it's an unfamiliar thing. I was looking at the trophy and I was like, oh, I don't know, there's not many people that have won it two years in a row, so <laughs> it's a pretty cool thing. And to do it with Tony is, yeah, it's, it's fabulous. He's a fantastic driver and I'm very lucky to be sitting next to him. The New South Wales Rally Championship is back in 2023 with plenty of familiar faces and some stars on the rising. See you in the forests.